Marco. Good afternoon. Hello, guys. Hello. Oh, both of you are keeping well. Yeah, everything's all right so far. Very good. Very good. Very good. Nice to hear. Um, shall we start? Yes. All right. A very warm welcome and very good afternoon to all of you uh, for KBFC uh, first pre-match press conference. I have a small request to all friends from the media. Uh, start your question uh, to first to the player, Mark. Uh, Marco, and then you can continue with the coach. Over to you. <laughs> First, I must say my English is not perfect. Yeah, yeah. Very much. Very much, Mark. That's no problem. Hi, Martin. Can I start with the questions? Yes, yes, we can start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi, Marco. Hi, coach. Uh, I hope uh, both of you are keeping well. Uh, I am Hari from Khel now. So I'll begin with my question for Marco. Uh, so, Marco, you joined uh, Kerala Blasters camp in uh, September. So, you have been with the team now for the past uh, 40, 50 days. Uh, on that, how well have you settled into the team? And uh, what do you think of your teammates in general, especially your friends in defense? Yes, uh, I'm last two months here and uh, we work very hard in preseason. Uh, I think everything is good. Uh, we have very good players. Uh, I know Venes, he played with me in defense line. Uh, we are very good uh, all, all the time we, we are together. I have also very good stuff with our coach and I think only only the best. All right. And uh, how happy are you with the work done by both you, yourself and the team do, during preseason? Like you got a lot of days. Uh, so, and, and also you played a lot of friendlies also. So, uh, how happy are you with the work in preseason? Yes, we play uh, maybe five, six games. We play very well. Uh, Maybe one game we're not in good level, but it's happened. Uh, we learn in uh, every game, uh, and uh, I can't, uh, I can't say uh, only, only it's good things because uh, preseason games it's good to see how you look. We, uh, uh, we are in very good condition. And uh, we have a good team, and we are very excited because tomorrow we start. All right. So, Richie, do I continue with my questions for coach, or should I uh, wait for uh, you know later? Hari, uh, let others also ask, and then after that, uh, you can ask to uh, coach. All right, all right. Could I go next from IFTWC? Please go ahead. Thank you. So I'm Uttirna here from IFTWC. Question to coach. KBFC have lost the most points from winning position in the last two seasons. And they usually concede it at the last quarter of the game. The players get sunken in pressure and they don't seem to be able to keep up their stamina for the full stretch of the match. So coach, what have you done from your side to change that? Well, we, uh, we had the whole process since we started. Uh... In the last three and a half months, we were working uh, very hard in every possible aspect. So, actually, in the last uh, friendlies, especially since we arrived here in Goa, we were very happy that we could uh, hold actually the, the whole length of the game. Even I think that in some games, most of the games were the dominant side. And especially if we see that some of the games we were playing 120 minutes. So, I think that uh, the part of fitness and stamina, we are happy so far. There is still uh, the huge large uh, margin of improvement uh, in all the possible lines of our team. But actually, when you start the competition, you start uh, building building up certain details. So I think that we will be better and better like the games are passing. So, so far, we are happy. Thank you, coach. And uh, my next question would be, Sehel has played as an attacking midfielder in the past. But Kerala have roped in Adrian Luna, who seems to be one of the best signings of the season. 
With that, what is the role of Sehel this season? Where will he play? Well, he will be playing in a in our team in attacking compartment, and also like uh, we were speaking about that, like all the players they have to attack, all the players they have to defend. So uh, probably will be playing in uh, uh, some different formations this season, and in every formation, uh, uh, all of the players they will have their roles. Uh, Sakal is uh, one of the players who uh, have potential to become very important player of Kerala Blasters and very important player of national team as well. So we are happy with his improvement. We are happy with his uh, uh, motivation to, to work hard, to improve in every possible level. And uh, well, uh, uh, Luna is also how we call, uh, how we say it, a player who can play on different positions, Sakal as well. So actually, both of them, they can play on the wing. Both of them, they can play as attacking midfielder. And both of them, they can play as strikers. So actually, we will find, uh, we'll find the right, right recipe. We will find the right recipe. I think that all of them will be happy with that. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Mata, uh, sir, you can ask. Uh, hi, Coach. This is Markus from the Times of India. Can you hear me? Hi, Coach. Because, you know, uh, uh, one of the lines that you told me in your recent interviews has, has actually struck me. Uh, you said the goal of Kerala Blasters was, was to actually shut their mouths and work hard. Uh, now that the match is just one day away, uh, are you happy with the work rate show and the commitment shown by the players during pre-season? And do you consider you as good as anybody else? Yes, we are very happy with our work. Actually, since we started, there were maybe one short gap that we were not happy about. It, it was the period of Turan Cup in, uh, in Calcutta, but actually that was the period where we could not control certain aspects. And actually when we cannot control these things, I, I rather don't bother about those things because I want to be focused on things that we can control and have, uh, have planned. So actually for the moment, we are very happy with the, with the fitness level, with the commitment, with everything uh, we'll be doing. Actually, there is still space to, to improve. Uh, so far, we are very happy because seeing the hard work these boys are doing, we have no serious injuries, especially we control and have everything uh, in our plan uh, if we speak about muscle injuries. So we are happy. We are happy so far and I think that we will we'll be better and better. All the best for the match and the season, Coach. Thank you, Marcus. Krishnan, you can ask. Uh, hi, Coach. Good afternoon. Hi, Krishnan. Yeah, so I have two questions to you. Uh, my first question is, uh, tomorrow is an opposition that is known for playing a system that is sit back and counter. So going into the game, are you uh, taking that into the account or uh, are we focusing on ourselves uh, and our game? We are mostly focused on ourselves, on uh, how we will play and what are our tasks on the pitch. Of course, during every game, you have the moments where you have to attack, where you have to defend. It doesn't mean that only one team will defend. Of course, there are moments in the game where we will have to sit back. They will have to sit back. So this is a football game. So actually, the whole preseason period and during one season as a team, you are preparing for all possible options. So. I think that tomorrow it will, we hope to have a very good football game, uh, to play uh, good football and try to create uh, things that we uh, will be happy with. So actually, we are not just taking into consideration one detail or one thing. We are preparing for all possible scenarios. Okay. Uh, my next question is, a uh, few, few of our main players like Sahel, Rahul, Jigson had a stop, stop, stop start preseason. Uh, so, b because of the national team involvement and everything, so will their will their game time be uh, like uh, at the initial matches? Will it be uh, less, uh, or will they go straight into the team? Well, they are uh, strong boys and uh, professionals. It's true that they spent more time in the last three months with national team than than with us. So, so sometimes we had the feeling that they're playing for national team and that they are loaning us them to us for a short period, but anyway, so we are happy with them. We are happy with their improvement. Uh, that's true that they missed one period with us, but that's not the problem. I think that they already gained that gap and uh, they will be ready for the tomorrow's game. Okay. Thank you, coach. Thank uh, you. Good afternoon, Marco. Um, good afternoon. My, uh, my question to you is, 
how are you finding pa- this partnership with this young indian cbs like uh, haku ruiva and bijoy but i think that this is this player is very young and uh, every player want to learn uh, it's very good players uh, very good physical level very talent only what uh, i can to give this player it's a little tactic uh, movements and this player is very good and want to learn and uh, i am very happy with this player okay thank you thank you coach thank you marco thank you vishna thank you thank you coach ashwin do you want to ask yes yes sir uh, good afternoon coach good afternoon let's go so my first could i actually have a question for both of you and uh, first of all i want to start with, uh, start with let's go with so you been uh, playing your trade you have played your most uh, most of your football back in croatia and now you are play uh, now uh, now you are here in india to represent kerala blasters in the isl do you feel any difference i know the season hasn't started yet but with the pre season experience you have attained yet uh, what differences do you feel from that brand of croatian a uh, brand of football and the ones one in india uh yes i will say season is not started but uh, i i can say what i see in pre season games uh, level here in football it's very good uh, all players is very good physical level maybe what i say uh, not in maybe less tactic uh, things what must to learn but uh, everything is in good level uh, i am very happy uh i see a lot of good things uh, pitch is very good here in india uh, all people around the club it's very good and uh, i can only enjoy okay the, uh and uh, my next question would be to you coach um considering the opponents for tomorrow what do you expect from them? like uh, i want to ask this question uh, uh atk is like atk and kbfc has a big history a big history like two f- finals for kbfc we lost both of them to the same team to the same opponents and if you think for the next game for the upcoming game does that history matter to you does that history that media calls this game as an indian el clasico does that history with atk matter to you for the upcoming game or just as another opponent like uh, all other 10 opponents atk is just another opponent for you first of all i must tell you a very nice photo you have <laughs> thank you sir thank you <laughs> No, you know the uh, the history things and the, the st- statistics. Uh, you know they are here to talk about that to see nice movements and uh, good movements, less good uh, moments. So actually, uh, tomorrow is a new game. Like in football, uh, the good thing that you can have new game every three days. Sometimes you know, and uh, that you can participate and play more and more games. So in this case, again, there is a new chapter. There is a new game. So all the history that is behind us. you know even the, the statistics they are uh, they are here to be uh, to be broken down actually and uh, we are very pleased and uh, enthusiastic about tomorrow's beginning of the competition and actually we are pleased that we can uh, play a good game so actually as a coach and even before as a former player i always wanted to to play a big and derby games every three days if it's possible because all the players you know when you start shooting the ball around your house and you start practicing you dream about playing those games so actually it's nice it's nice and i hope that all the boys will enjoy tomorrow will be motivated and uh, show the good side of their quality and uh, one more last question to go to you coach uh, we all know that when we uh, look up to other leagues it's actually weekend leagues the games happen in uh, mostly in one once in a week or twice in a week uh, uh, twice in a week kind of a system but when you come to india you have matches regularly like you may be playing today and after 3 days you are again playing you are again putting up uh, your best 11 forward to win the game and you can't be considering that okay let's draw this game or let's let's just slip this game away for us they are but every game is important here every three points is important here just as any uh, in any other league so how are you coping up with that system what are you uh, what are your plans to manage the game management and all you know um, my kind uh, my side of mentality in the football is uh, that i want to win every game so in every game there will be the best team playing and uh, if i go back again in the history as a player and as a coach as well in some countries you know we 
we were managing to play more than 60 games in, a, in one season. So where you start playing for 10 months every three days and so you have many players going for national team. So actually, when you have a good preseason, when you prepare and have a certain program, you have your players ready to, to compete every three days. So actually, I think that, like we said, we are very happy with our previous period. I think that the players, they are ready uh, to enter into that uh, program. And actually, whoever we play against, whatever we are playing, I don't know how many days be between the games we'll be going for victories. We will not be calculating because I want to see our team uh, with winning mentality and to have that kind of, of mentality throughout the, the, the whole competition. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, coach. And uh, uh, best of luck for both of you for the next game coming up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you coach. Adesh, you want to ask? Uh, yes. Hi, coach, and uh, hi, Marco. My, I will begin with my question for Marco. So, Marco, in my understanding, uh, this is your first time uh, out of your home country. And uh, uh, have you been able to adjust with the Indian? Oh, sorry, I don't understand the question. Uh, I adapt very good. I adapt very good. Uh, I have, uh, how, how I say, Enes uh, Neira, Coach Ivan, uh, Coach Slaven, who helped me very, very good. And uh, I'm happy with what I said before, and uh, everything is okay. Okay, okay, Marco. Now my question to a coach is that, coach, is the full squad available for selection for tomorrow's game? Are there any injury concerns and in, in general? No, like I said, everybody is available. Uh, that's kind of luxury in a football that we have uh, all the players available. Uh, uh, nobody, we, we don't have serious injuries. Especially, we are happy to uh, to manage in the last three and a half months very hard work without serious muscle injuries, which makes us really happy. So, for tomorrow's game, everybody's available. Coach, uh, one more question. Uh, KBFC has recently uh, announced the signing of the new assistant coach, that is Stephen Hayden. What's your take on him and how excited are you to work, be working along with him? And, uh, again, uh, Stefan, Stefan is a, uh, a football coach with a huge experience. He used to work in a, a big club uh, for a long period, uh, winning titles, winning trophies as assistant coach. He used to work as assistant coach in the national team of Belgium. He's a former uh, football player who used to play on a high level. He played in the national team of Belgium. He played in different competitions like Belgium and France. He's certainly someone who will help us a lot, especially after, uh, after the part of, uh, of Coach Patrick. So actually, we are fulfilling that position and we are happy with his uh, arrival. So we are expecting him to be here uh, tomorrow and hope that we will continue building up the things we uh, started uh, three and a half months ago. Thank we you, know coach. Each other. Thank you, Marco. We know, each other. we know each other from a long time. We know each other uh, from our coaching education in Belgium, from our football fields in Belgium. So actually, we are good colleagues and good friends. Okay, coach. So that... Thank you for your response, sir. Thank you, coach, and thank you, Marco, and all the best for the coming thank season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Adarsh. Uh, thank you, coach. Uthirna, you want to go? Yeah, sure. Uh, question to coach. What are the realistic expectations that the fans should have from this team this season? Well, I think that we have a very good team with lots of potential. I think that we have a very good group of young uh, Indian players who still have to improve a lot. And I think that many of them will find their path uh, to become important players in ISL in the upcoming uh, years and also in the national teams. I think that these boys, they have potential. They have to continue working hard. And we are very happy to see that they improved since the beginning. So, so I think that we have a good team. I think that we will uh, uh, we'll play good football. I'm very confident and I, uh, I believe in, lots of, in all of them. Thank you. And Marco, uh, previously, most of the players from your region have struggled to adopt, adapt in this subcontinent, you know, the weather, the playing conditions, everything. So what do you feel about that? And how well do you think you have settled in with the squad? Well, 
look uh, all around the club it's uh, very good guys very good people uh, every of this uh, helped me to my adapt be very very fast what i say i'm very happy here i have everything what i need uh, we have very good staff very good team and uh, this is all what i can to say i'm very happy here and uh, we we are excited for tomorrow game Thank you so much, coach and player. I wish you all good luck for the season. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, time to take the last two questions. Hari, uh, you can go ahead. All right. Hi, coach. Back to you. Uh, so. Hi, Hari. Oh, Hari, nice photo. Thank you. Uh, oh. You are also very photogenic. Uh, I mean, Hari, we need left-footed players. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. But no. No, I am a right-footed player. That was just, uh, you know, once in a while. Oh, why you put up on it here? I see you shooting with left foot. Yeah, yeah, that's once in a while. Thank you, though. I'll try and apply. I mean, if you can select me, it will be great. With pleasure. All right, coach. Uh, back to the questions. So, uh, coach, uh, Kerala Blasters have had like over a hundred days of preseason preparations. Uh, they also played a lot of friendlies. But on the other hand, I'm going to ask about our opponents. ATK Mohan Bagan, they, they really did not play any preseason friendlies. Uh, so I, I, I guess you can say that KBFC have got some match practice. Do you think that will give the team an advantage in tomorrow's game? Well, from, from a theory speaking perspective, uh, it could be an advantage, you know, but it doesn't have to mean that it will be an advantage. Of course, Every team has uh, its own choices. We choose to start earlier because we wanted to check out our uh, youth compartment. We wanted to check many players from, uh, let's say, our second team. And we wanted to get in touch and get to know all of our players of, of the squad and to give time and space to all of them to express themselves, you know, by training hard, especially playing uh, many friendlies. Because, you know, in the football way, if you keep training, keep practicing, it's a good thing. Uh, games, it's like a confirmation. So you need games to improve things. You need games to see your uh, good and uh, less good points. So and if when you see less good points, you have to work on them. So, so we chose to have those friendlies. So if we speak about our opponents or any opponent, not only from tomorrow's game, so it's up to them. So these are the things that we, we cannot bother with or we cannot get, get mixed with so it's it's their choice our choice was to start earlier to play many friendlies because we wanted to see those players improving uh, learning certain things so it could be an advantage but it doesn't mean that it should be an advantage so the answer we will see tomorrow after the game so actually uh, i think that our opponents they had also also one pre-season period they have played the games in afc so actually they had practice as well Tomorrow we'll see. I hope that we'll have a good game and let's let the better team win. So that's it. All right, coach. Final question for you. So uh, from the preseason friendlies, I uh, observed that you rotate your players well. I hope I am right. So was it just to find the right combination for the ISL, or will we see this player rotation policy continue in the ISL also? You know, uh, when you uh, when you are in a preseason period, especially when you are playing friendlies. Uh, between those friendlies, you have uh, hard work, you have tactical work, physical work, and then the friendlies, you use them to give all the ball space and playing time because they need to improve. And that's the way how they improve. So actually, our goal was to give those to all boys time because they need that. It's not only about one team. It's not only about one squad. We are here with a large group. So actually, uh, everybody is here for a reason. So it may happen that during the season we need somebody or we need everybody. So that's why our goal was to give them many friendlies, many time to play, to rotate, to let them play maybe on different positions because they need that practice in order to be uh, able to play uh, competition tomorrow if needed. So that was our goal. So And then we are happy that everybody is okay with that. All right. All right, coach. Uh, thank you so much for your responses and uh, all okay. the best to you and Marco as well for the season and tomorrow's game. And and let me know if you need a striker, left-footed striker. I'll come. Immediately. <laughs> all right, coach. Thank you. Thank you. So much. All the best. Thank you. Bye-bye.
thank you coach uh, last question ashwin you want to go yeah thank you for the opportunity there uh, coach ashwin from delhi sir <laughs> now just one question to you it's very hard to ignore or very tough to ignore what antonio lopez habas has uh, done all through his isl career right till now and what he has achieved how do you rate him how do you rate antonio lopez habas as an opponent as a managerial counterpart but you know this is not this is not the game against uh, uh, between coaches so this is not the game against uh, one manager against the other manager this is the game against two clubs because these clubs uh, they have been here before uh, we arrived and uh, hopefully these clubs will be present after we uh, quit or maybe in our lives are somewhere else so actually uh, this is not the game between two managers this is the game between kerala blasters and atk so this is how i look to uh, into that game i'm not uh, concentrating on that fact uh, so i'm more focused on our team the things what we want to achieve what we want to do all the other things they are trivial trivial and apart so actually as a coach this is my way of working and uh, that's what we want to do thank you thank you coach thank you coach and thank you so much uh, wish you all the best for tomorrow's match uh, all the best coach all the best marco take thank care you. okay guys take care thank you.